semi-discrete equations. Here is a real-world example. These are a group of concrete structures, specifically cooling towers. Such towers are strongly associated with nuclear power plants. However, their role is to cool down water for reuse and power generation. As computational engineers, we might be interested in simulating the behavior of such cooling towers. So some of the physical mechanisms in play here are heat conduction, moisture diffusion, elastic deformation, so on and so forth. So if we want to simulate heat conduction, we can use the finite element method that basically implements the matrix equation shown in blue on the right hand side. This semi-discrete equation is obtained as a discretized weak formulation of the equation on the left. On the left, rho is the density, C is the heat capacity, K is the conductivity, and T is the temperature. On the right hand side, these quantities are encapsulated in the matrix M and K. We must note that M and K has information about the geometrical discretization of the structure. The reason this expression on the right hand side in blue is called a semi-discrete equation is because this expression is discrete in space but continuous in time. Hence, it is called a semi-discrete equation. Here is a semi-discrete equation for fluid and mass diffusion. Here, SC is the storage capacity, D is the diffusivity, and H is the so-called head or pressure. The semi-discrete equation for fluid or mass diffusion is shown on the right-hand side. Usually, the diffusivity is a nonlinear term, which could also be a function of the head and needs certain nonlinear solution strategies in conjunction with time integration methods to solve this particular problem. And finally, here is the semi discrete equation of elastodynamics with the rho being the density, sigma the stress, and f the body force. U dot dot is the acceleration and U is the displacement. So on the left hand side, we see the strong form and on the right hand side, we see the semi-discrete equation. M is the mass matrix, K is the stiffness matrix. However, this term, this semi-discrete equation does not take into account the effects of damping. Damping is basically the loss of energy due to heat and friction, so on and so forth. We can include damping by the so-called Rayleigh model. The Rayleigh model is an empirical model for damping. C is the damping matrix and C is formed as a linear combination of the mass and the stiffness matrix. Alpha 1 and alpha 2 are parameters. In the next video, we will look at solution methods on how to solve these semi-discrete equations. Thank you.